You know, I'd like nothing better than to get home from work every night and cook a beautiful, well-balanced three-course meal for my family. But realistically, that's not going to happen every night, is it? But today I'm going to make a beautiful pumpkin, walnut and cheese pasta. And it does happen to be nutritious, well-balanced and delicious. For this recipe, you'll need 500 grams of pumpkin already roasted. I have used Jap pumpkin here, but you can use butternut or Queensland blue. Don't be tempted to boil it though, because it tends to go a bit mushy. All I've done here is tossed my cubes of pumpkin with some olive oil, some salt and pepper, and popped them in the oven for about 18 minutes at 180. Do you remember recently we did some Moroccan lemons? Well, I'm going to use them in this recipe. We're going a bit cross-cultural, but you can use the zest of a whole lemon if you like. I've got some pecorino cheese. Once again, you can substitute some feta or even some salted ricotta. Just a nice, tasty sort of cheese. I've already chopped up some garlic, about three cloves, but that depends on your family. And I also like to put in some dried chilli. Once again, leave it out if the kids are going to eat it. I've toasted in the oven some walnuts, dry roasting for about 12 minutes at 180 degrees. You don't need any oil for that. And then I've got some chopped up parsley. And now for the pasta. Now I'm lucky because today I've got some homemade pasta. But look, don't stress. If you've got some dried pasta from the supermarket, use that. This recipe is so adaptable. I'm going to use some homemade fusilli because that's my family's favourite. Now, while the pasta is cooking, that gives me just enough time to make my sauce. It's so simple. Four tablespoons of olive oil in here. Then I can start cooking my garlic first. Now into there I can put in my lemon, my chilli, the chopped up parsley and the walnuts. And I'm putting that all in in that order so that the nuts take on a little bit of the shiny oil. Oh, that smells good. I wish you could smell it. All the pumpkin can go in at once. And then apart from the salt and pepper, my sauce is done. How easy is that? Here's a tip. Whenever you're cooking pasta, always hold back a little bit of pasta water, maybe a ladle or two. And then if the sauce is a little bit dry, you can add a little bit of the starchy pasta water. And it seems to give it a lovely creaminess as well. Our pasta's ready. Now we just have to combine it with our sauce and warm it through. Some of our pasta water. Olive oil into there. All we have to do now is add our cheese. We'll just softly melt with the heat of the pasta. Mmm, smells fabulous. The only thing that this might need is a grinding of black pepper before you take it to the table and wait for the compliments. There you have it. Our beautiful recipe for pasta with pumpkin, walnut and cheese. Or as we say in Italian, pasta con zucca e noce. You can download this recipe in English from our website. And don't forget, every month I've got lots more recipes in SA Life magazine.